Hey, what's up, guys? It's Magic here, and today we're going to be doing another episode of my Dang and Rampa series. So, <laughs> in the last episode, we did the class trial and the execution. I was thoroughly upset. I've taken a two day break. Wasn't my choice, I promised my friend. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while since I played this, so. Alter I'm still mad about Alter Ego's execution, okay? Y you. <laughs> you suck, man. You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk. That whew, that took uh, that really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say it's for they say for post workout grub, chickens chickens where it's at. And I'm all about that grilled goodness. Same though. Fried, broiled. Give me a break. The color, the smell, the suck succulent succulents. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Grilled <laughs> grilled is where it's at. I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I really don't understand why, but th when I think about everyone else, my courage starts start my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm ju I'm some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. So it's for the sake of if it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart, and my disbelief gave way to a raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy, black and muddy, and boiling over. It bubbled through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend. How dare you kill him? What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Shut the hell up! He wasn't just a laptop. He was my friend. And you killed him. Hmm. Is this what you call animism? Where a soul dwells within all things, even like laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find out all fa find things out all sneaky sneaky. Just as I thought. So, you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally? No no no, I knew for it I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah! I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew, and you st you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the data in it, it data that uh, the data in the laptop it top, laptop it was I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Phew. Or maybe like a reward, an honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey. So of course I, d I didn't care if you ac got if you got access to that. But sneaking into the network was just too personal, so I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. I want to keep I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can so that we can all get out of here. Ultra Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life, and for that he was killed. <laughs> Yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a billion times better. Damn. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. It makes me remember remember that even low even low can get low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody's died who's died so far. The deaths of each the deaths of each each and every one of our friends. They all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Holy moly, you're super mad, like, just unreasonably upset. Well... Okay, time to bring things to a close, but before that... Uh-huh? I need to read the postscript. What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there's a still bit of... There's still a bit, a bit more life for Sakura's note. Huh? Oh, he is crying all. Oh, no, that's... Uh... <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay, then, here we go. <laughs> Prepare your ears for the... Dulcest, dulcest tones of your tr of yours truly. One other thing. One other thing. One other. Th okay, I, I'm gonna read this in soccer voice. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully, it will act. A, it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and off and on the whole time I've been here, so I've learned one thing, which is. The mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is 
Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. That was a close one. In other words, and we would have been hip deep in spoiler territory. Too bad. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. What? What? You can't just stop at the most important bit. <laughs> it makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even friggin' know, huh? You got that's the whole point, stupid. It's hit to get back at you, all of you, for hardening your resolve. F fine, but at least Sakura's note. Hmm. Like I never let any any of you greaseballs have it. But, but too bad. <laughs> sucks for you, loser. Hmm? Wait, what's this? What? What is it now? Well, what? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard, no matter what. And that's seriously it. Hmm? Huh, wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die? She'll fight you? Hmm. Well, whatever, who cares what someone dead muscle he musclehead has to say? Well? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should get some rest, you know? And maybe take some time, time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to go on to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> think about that. Think long, think hard. Wow. Wow. Those were his parting words just before disappearing. But what was all that about? Sakura's final message. Her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said, Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Who? What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? The mastermind did something to our bodies. What are what are they saying? The mastermind did. What what did the mastermind do to us? I mean. Did the mastermind plan to bomb in us or something? And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off? And the bomb explodes? I see it's like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's totally not unheard of. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge th thoughts like that. Yo! So the class trial is over and Monica was gone. But... So, now what do we do? Yes. What else is there, other than to head back up? Head back up? Uh, um... Oh yeah! Okay, let's get out of here. But, but, I, um... You know I still feel irresponsible. Hmm. <laughs> Dial back that ego a bit, girl. That, the kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would, I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Stop talking. Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. How many times do you have to plan to apologize? How about you make that at the, at the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Uh, okay, I know what you mean. But then, I'll try. I'll huh? try. That, that totally wasn't normal, right? Did, did she just capture his flag? What? No, 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 no! I cannot stop for the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. What are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why do I ever go for a sleazeball like him? What did you sleazeball? What the heck? That's right. I called you a sleazeball because you are a sleazeball. Sleaze. Apparently, you still have a death witch. <laughs> oh, more biting sarcasm? No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no! Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're just you're making me jealous. I want to. I want the abuse. Give it. Give and take. Me. Jesus. I Jill is weird. I need a better voice for her. Cause, yeah. I, I have a crappy voice for her. I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. And so, Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope Speak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms, and before long, night snuck up on, snuck up on us. Oh boy. Hmm. <clears throat>
<laughs> yeah. This, this is officially night time. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I don't know why I listen to that every time, but I like it. Nighttime, de nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I had fallen into such a deep sleep. The, last, the, la the, the night la still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. Uh, wake k up. Wake up. Huh? The voice dr dragged me into the d deep slumber and it. Dragged me from the deep slumber and my god. I just heard that. Kyoko! Oh god. <laughs> yes, it's me. Kyoko? I said yes. How'd she get in? So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> in a flash, I was wide awake. What, what are you doing here? It's true. I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door. <sighs> it was unlocked. You, you are unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Hey. Always, and you don't have to overreact. Always, and you don't have to overreact like that. Every time you're surprised. What time is Correct. it? Three o'clock in the morning, of course. It's three a.m. Okay, I'm waiting for like it's a time unknown thing to change. Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? Hey, midnight. It's not midnight. It's three a.m. All right, uh, Kyoko. What? What? I didn't click on that. Okay. I forgot. Pink means people. It's so late. What happened? Makoto. I have a favor to end to ask. Oh, oh, what's the favor thing? What's the, what's your favor? So... Remember what, what Sakura said at the end of her note. I'm going to. I'm not going to just lay down, lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what that what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan? Okay, but how do you plan on plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her li lips next to my ear and whispered. The data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Ugh. That in other words, she is gone. What the? Her words rever reverberated through my through my half dazed head. The data center? I keep saying data and data. I'm sorry. It's the same thing, isn't it? Oh whatever. But but I thought it was locked. Uh oh. In the area? Yes. Oh, what's gonna happen? Uh, I'm in my way into the after after hour school and headed to the da the, the data set the data center on the fourth floor. I don't know how to say it. Okay, eventually I wound up at the at the <laughs> team saying it, data center data center. But when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she said she'd meet up meet me. Is she maybe all inside already? I put my hand to the door and with a certain amount of force, it didn't open. I tried again, but it must be locked. What? Wait. What was it Kyoko said? The, da the data center on the fourth floor. What's this? What? Uh huh, what are you doing up, mister? K what? Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just. Yeah. Trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in in yet, right? But. Hey. I can see that, that you dolt. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can I can see for myself. I'm it looks like you might break, break it break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you gonna try to tell me that you were sleepwalking or something? Or are you gonna? Oh, that was that wasn't Makoto. Or are you gonna try to tell you tell me you were sleepwalking or something? N no, nothing like that. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. What do you? What? Why are you out here making a racket? K Kyoko. <laughs> you too. Okay. You got Whatever, the two of you just get back to get back get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I've no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. Get on. Get out of here. Shoo, shoo. So you left and went back to our rooms. And then, goodbye. so, goodbye. Well, hold on. Listen, what was all that about just now? You, she woke me up and maybe go to the, to, to maybe go to the data center, which, which, happened to be, which just happened to be locked. And then she shows up late, and we, and we leave without checking a single thing. That, what, was all, what was the point of all that? Don't worry about it. 
I, I figured that would just be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sh sure. And then that, and then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere what? in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Whoa! Whoa! I want to know more about this person. Ultimate despair. What? Ultimate despair. What? Huh? <laughs> to be continued. Okay. What? I don't. No. <sighs> no. No. That just makes me upset. Alter lump. Okay. Wow. Do you want to say the new day? I yes. Why not? I got a trophy. I mean, <sighs> only have four more saves left. Mukuro Damn. Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> Mukuro Ikusaba. Yeah, he said it. Student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. God, that music scared me. Kyoko told me that told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was a 16th student before the next incident. Three days before we were faced with another murder. What? Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. Oh, what? You, what? Oh, I like this music though. Kyoko, how you doing? Okay. What? I am so confused. In the, mean, in the meantime, the day after Sakura's trial, Sakura's tr tr class trial that morning in the din is in the dining hall. Hmm. So let's begin with the usual post-trial investigation. Huh? Yeah. Hey, you didn't make it make small talk or anything. We never just, just hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep it up with me, you mu you must refrain from pointless small talk. Oh. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, he just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I. That's what I like. That's what I like to think, anyway. Regardless, you. If you want me to w want to defeat the mastermind, you will need to follow my lead. The creeper. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my. And no matter what it takes, I will right, rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Joko, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. You just like you sit there like a mushroom. You're gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at. She didn't snap back at you. Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth with, mouth without permission. Huh? What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. Hmm. I don't care. How about that? You're okay with that, Toko? Uh. Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? <clears throat> I believe this is the small talk Byakuya, Byakuya I warned us about. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. But but it is now finished. We will never. I will never allow you to drag me down on down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to be again our search. Stop running your mouth and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakuya, we all started our exploration. To the fifth floor. <sighs> okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, what? I'm sorry. Apologize. Right, nobody. Nobody. It's, this is the uh, third floor, right? Yeah, I gotta go to the fourth floor. All right, fifth floor. Yeah. Fourth floor down. Hey, where am I? Uh, this leads to the fifth floor, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, it does. Well, so here I am on the fifth floor of Hope Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been op has been opened up to us, and it's totally different from all the uh, from all the floors we've seen uh, seen up till now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. All right, what do we got? Uh, it's like a dojo place, some classrooms. Is that a 
Microscope lab? I don't know. That's like, what? Plant? I don't. Okay. Hina, how you doing? Um. This horror feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there, is there some like, reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. Alright, I'm gonna go to this place first. Uh, the dojo that Sakura would have liked. But, uh. You're not here anymore. <laughs> Kyoko! What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did you, what did it mean? Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko. I'm not going I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. You can start off with the surveillance camera. Hey. You uh, you understand why, right? She's trying to tell me that that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. How did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like that, and just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than before. Okay, Kyoko, whatever you say. Love you too. Suit of armor on display, it's extremely Japanese. Yeah, I got I'm raking up all the big coins. Is that a shooting range? The target's the target's the pretty far away. So I'm saying pretty proud of pretty proud of my eyesight. Yeah. Uh, the trees. Wait, cherry blossom trees. Even though this room is totally unclosed, there's a but cherry plant, cherry trade tree plant here, and it's and it's and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is why you consider this is what you consider elegant. Indeed. I lived overseas at, overseas for a long time, so this is kind of Japanese style scenery. It's refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Well, aren't you excited to see? Okay, I don't understand it, but I mean, I'm excited to see him. What's that thing? It's, it's a straw post used for sword practicing. Did they use it for training here too? Huh. Okay. Lockers. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and key and keys remind me of a super old school public bathroom bathhouse. Bathhouses. Hey, there's only six lockers for six students. Wow. Huh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Wait, what's up there? Oh, monitor, okay. And then surveillance camera. And that's it. The area, yes. Oh, that's a noise. Okay, where to now? Bright light! Let's go to the bright light. Ah, I'm blinding myself. What? Oh, God, that is... That legit creeps me out. <laughs> but what is this? This thing is super weird. It's super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to be this big. Is this thing real? Watch oh god. Uh, that's a monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it, and you're for, and you're in for some real excitement. Your hearts, all, your hearts all like whoa, and the plants all like snap, and your flesh is all like black. I'm dead. In other words, in other words, it's in other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> It's pretty freaking amazing if I do so, say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak added an improvement after after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate baitnet, bait, botanist, whatever. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the during the tragedy. Actually, by the way, despite how it looks, the fl the flat flower is super practical. You can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Such an ego-friendly creation is vital to the future of growth of he a healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. Setting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I'd better keep my distance. Huh. Uh. Okay, well we got a little house, a camera. Yes, Hero, I see you. Okay, I was wanted to see if that thing was persisting. Is there any control panel set near the wall? Does it control like air conditioning or something? Oh, heh. 
It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it can the sprinkler, sprinklers in the, gar in the garden. The sprinklers are set off to go every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> of course, the, the settings panel is locked, so you could change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go, might go off at 7 a.m. every morning? Yep, yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch, your, so watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running out and guarding through sprinklers anyway. Yes, yes. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone! Oh boy. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Ch there's chickens! He has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something like crazy like that. It seems safe. Look at all the chickens. It's a chicken. It doesn't have like a second form, right? It's a chicken. It doesn't. It real. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. It's a chicken. It's re it, is, it, it, it really is, right? Like I can't. I can say that for sure. It's a chicken. I'm not expecting you to be it, to be fed like humans, right? It's a chicken. It's not gonna like lay a bomb, is it? <laughs> that was probably one of the best things I've ever done in this series. <laughs> oh, you like the chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these. I, yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly. Hmm. Five. You know the number that comes from four, after four and before six, at least in terms of neutral, natural numbers. Well, anyway, whatever the number is five pops up, that's a good, that's a good omen. It, it contains the mysteries. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least thirty percent. It's right. a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeezed all natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in, a word in edgewise. Okay, good talk, bud. Okay, let's, go, let's look at this little house. Just to be sure, I should take a look in the tool in that tool shed. This place, this place seems totally disorganized from a lawnmower to from a lawnmower to, to fertilize their flower flower pots to farm tools. And leaning lean against the back wall is that is that a pickaxe? There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are you, are you trying to get us to become self sufficient? Pickaxe, crazy diamond, huh? If someone's carved into the handle this. Wait. Crazy Diamond. Isn't that like... Was was that... Mondo's biker gang name? Because wasn't it like something diamond? Oh, there's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy Diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Huh. Uh. There's a lawnmower here. Even with this, who's who's hey, who's actually gonna take care of the of the lawn? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So many flower pots, big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. And that's everything here, right? Oh yeah, you know, there's some manure on the ground. Bag of fertilizer are piled up. There are so many different kinds to choose from. Okay. The tool shed, yes. All right, let's talk to let's talk to Hero. So I haven't done that yet. Hi, Hero. Yo. At first, I thought I thought I saw blue sky, blue skies, but it turns out they just painted the walls and then walls and the ceiling. You know. Oh, but the plants are, but but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've I'm smelling vegetation. It helps me relax. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there just beneath the surface, beneath the, beneath their comic exterior. They're always watching and waiting, and then and when they decide decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth, Earth anymore, the end is nigh. they'll put their plans <laughs> they put their plans for global human extin extinction into action. Well, I'm serious. Okay, yeah. have fun with that hero. All right, where am I going next? Uh, to the hall. 
Oh, hi, Anna. You scared me. This is another classroom, right? Oh, bio lab. Raw. Ah, oh, damn it. It's locked. We come all this way just to be denied here. The sign of a, a sign in the hall says bio lab. Bio lab. Bio lab. That's that we that we are forbidden. That we're forbidden from seeing into. It sounds. It kind of sounds like something for, out of an old cheesy horror movie. Uh, so that's it, right? So we need to check all the classrooms. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh my god! What, what the hell is this? Okay, I knew something bad was gonna happen when I walked in because of like the freaking music change, but Jesus. The grotesque, the grotesque, the grotesque, whatever that grotesque horror of the room struck me a hard, hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, what I, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, um, impossibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? it? It's, it must be at least vaguely familiar to you, after all you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying, hmm, it's the smell of death, their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right, I had experienced the smell more than once, before. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here, the smell here is strong, condensed, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma, Monokuma must have... Hey, what? My fault now. again? Stop trying, to Stop trying to blame me on everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. This never would have happened. No, no, no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, ed litty bitty, eg squeegee little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better make those stupid hints, hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RP RPGs. Uh -oh. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood, blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, pe even even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait. I so can't it's, not wait. Like it's not like a really, it's not like a, it's not really, it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left. The, he just left it the way he found it. What's the meaning of all this? Wow. Blood. Wait, there's three. There's four. There's a lot of freaking bodies. Oh my! There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on on detective shows and, and stuff like that. This you always see, see see it at the scene of a murder. Dot dot dot. I wish I could say I don't believe it, but uh, you do. You do kind of do, don't you? It's a little all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. Here's, the, here's all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I, I think it's, it's safe to assume this, these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? Hmm. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. Interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's a, he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. Uh, wow. Okay. Eye for an eye. Yeah, it's got like I just got like Ruby vibes off of that. <laughs> the area. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm go. I get to see what I, what I, there is to see up there's see up here for for now. Once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turn that. Blah, blah, yeah. That. <laughs> Wasn't I just with Byakuya? Yeah. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long. Hmm. But up here, everyone has returned. Uh, one second. Uh, checking the time. Okay. But still, it's just like the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be so sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, everyone is one more. Per every even if one more person dies, we can still feel. We can still feel the basketball team. Hey. Yeah, like reserve. Like yeah, like reverse positive thinking. 
Any, anyway, there's no time to be depressed. That is no time to be depressed. Let's thank you, everyone we've everyone we've lost. We we have to do our best. Hmm. I'm trying to fix stuff. So, a minute. Can we all stop arguing about about group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. All right, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Wait, nah, I'm gonna talk to people. I'm gonna talk to people, and then I'm gonna end yeah. the episode. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back, to front to back. Jump that. That used to kind of be a Sakura's job, but anyway, no dice. No dice. They were met. There were met. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. Yeah. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? So then. Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Something on all the other floors, but on, but on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? Oh! There aren't any stairs leading up to the, from the fifth floor. Fifth, fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the under, underlying mystery. But... But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll, f I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, 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 not. I'm sure we will. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. All right, good job. Here. Wow. So it's the last floor. Hmm. By the way, by the way, did you, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no, strange is a massive under, under, understatement. The smell, the smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless cor corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What, what, what the hell are you talking about? Hmm. The smell itself was horrific, far beyond the normal murder scene. Everyone, everyone, every body's smell con concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But, but I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So, in other words, I can, I can only think of one thing: a large group of, group of people died right there in the room, in that room. <laughs> a bunch of people were killed in there. Stop! It, Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that's what I what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is. That the mass murder took place in the room in the incident said to have happened one year ago. There's awful scene in that room. Well, that was the tragedy that had, had happened a year ago. In other words... Precisely, the tragedy is another name for genocide, for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, if that's true... It's all clear. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I don't really forgot Byakuya's voice, so I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still. How is it n not, not one of us ever heard something about like that happening? Does this, does this mean they really did cover it up? Okay. Uh, we're gonna save Kyoko for last. Hey, Bia hey Byakuya, it seems like Kyoko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because he told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I'd forgotten about that. Huh? Jesus, man, you, I, I know you like torturing her, but come on. Hmm. Well, Toko, well, Toko, if you want to env env envelope us in all of your pu putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you, you honor me, master. <laughs> And don't worry, I take care of the uh, odor problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna you're just gonna take it? Sh shut up and don't interrupt my uh, when master and me are t are talking. Um. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <clears throat> <laughs> well, I was in the I was in a classroom on the fifth floor, and so something caught my attention. It was this. A knife? Oh! Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like a rombo. It's like rombo size. What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? Well, How would I n know? Very suspicious. What? What? You can, what are you gonna use that knife for? What do you plan to do to us? 
I'm not gonna do anything. I did just picked it up. I don't. I don't want to leave a knife laying just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> don't don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. <laughs> Listen, more important. Now that we that now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know. We can't let Toko keep it. That's for sure. We we don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want what I don't want one anyway. It's too dangerous. Hmm. So what do we do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. And that's that. Hold on. Don't don't I get a say? It's all clear now. It just shows that just just how much they trust you. You should do as I ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay. So so here you go, Makoto. We're acting like I was already like I already said yes. F fine. I guess there's nothing I can. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk for drawer for now. Hmm. Anyway, th that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Choco. Hmm. Uh, do, do I have? To, do I ha still have bad breath? So sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. It stinks. I'm sorry. It stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Hmm. Huh? 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 Did Master just pr praise me? <laughs> Hey, good for you. <laughs> I'm I'm dreaming. It mu I must be be dreaming <laughs> that I would never experience such a dream. <laughs> I feel so strange. <laughs> so strange, really strange. Oh no. I'm not I'm not I'm not even going to try to say that. <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Wow. Like, I still ship Byaki and Toko to a certain extent. <laughs> you know? It's weird, but <laughs> it's like cute. It's like a weird cute, you know? Well, well, there's a big garden, garden on the fifth floor, and I found out, found more than one thing to be worried about. <clears throat> a stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're going to say, a, but a tool shed. <laughs> Monokuma said that plant was, call, was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's totally a man-eating man -eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from, from the ones that live in the pipe, though. Anyway, that thing mu that thing must benefit from the sprinklers sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on uh, come on every morning at around at 7:30 on the dot. Hmm. And remember that you don't want to get want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you, you, well, you don't have to n have to worry. You say idiots never catch colds, you know. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you here. Up, can you tell me what ten plus ten is? What the heck? Hey, come on! You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't mean it makes me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. Huh? So, um, what was the question again? Uh. Don't worry, you just answered it. <laughs> okay, he said three you things. Know? So, I should get through all these. Chicken coop. There was a bunch of chickens in the, in the chicken coop, right? Mm. That's right, five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then when we, then we, then we can make fried chicken oh, oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Ah. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I'm pretty sure that'll, that'll kill you. All right, one more thing. You know? Yep. Uh, tool shed. You notice it too, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe. There was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words "crazy diamond" had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Mm. Crazy diamond? Hmm. Yeah, that does sound familiar. I think. It's true. I don't. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? huh? Where? Oh, uh, that's right. I remember. Ah! I called it. It was Mondo. It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would th why would that be on the pickaxe in the in the garden? Could it be? One of us must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here, and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever, whatever the reason, the, the whatever the reason, that's what stuck out stuck out to me. I, I totally called it. So, mm. 
He stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, that stuck to, out to me. Wasn't the pickaxe? Wasn't it? Doesn't do, wasn't the pickaxe at all? Huh? Then what did? Yeah. What did? What I noticed was that the, what's the lawnmower? I'm thinking maybe we can use it for use it to call for help. Huh? How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe I can use it to make it use it to crop circles or something. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna make crop. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well, and we can use those to yell you know, to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. No. Well, back then my personality hadn't quite so um, hadn't quite solidified yet. Oh. I don't think it was. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever than I've ever been. Oh. <laughs> and Kyoko. Hey. My concern, my concern is with the bio lab that was on the uh, that was <clears throat> that was on the only f that was the only place on the fifth floor that we, that we could that we could a couldn't access. Mm. Yeah, the the bio lab, huh? I wonder, I wonder what's in there. Could it be? It's like yeah, yeah. If the, I'm sorry, if the, if this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or. But we are not in a horror game, though. But you're in a game, haha! <laughs> a visual novel game. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Either way, we didn't, we didn't, we don't have to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that you, that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally, your tiny brains can ca can only do so much. So focus on u utilizing them to if it, them efficient, effective, it, efficiently. Sorry. Well. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? Now. No, how I said it was right too. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So what? So now what? What? what do, now what do we do? Hmm. Well, well. Sergeant J, you're under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um. So, okay. I think I got in this episode here. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I'm gonna leave it on a cliffhanger because I'm just like that. Haha. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like this video, like to subscribe to become a hopper today, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.